We are often told about how our lifestyle is linked to important diseases. For example, does drinking two glasses of wine each day reduce your risk of stroke? Well, that debate ran for decades before recently being settled by ingenious genetic epidemiological experiments using information from our DNA. Unfortunately, the DNA evidence shows that alcohol is not protective. My name is Will Harrington and I'm an associate professor at the University of Oxford and a consultant in the NHS caring for people with kidney problems. I have been interested for quite some time about the effects of excess body weight on our kidneys and I'm indebted to Kidney Research UK and all their donors for a financial award bequeathed by the late Professor David Kerr. They've been funding me to do similar types of genetic experiments to settle a key kidney question. The question is whether or not being overweight or obese is an actual cause of kidney disease. And we've been using an amazing resource, the UK Biobank resource of donated blood and urine, including DNA, from over half a million volunteers. Now, these data have been used to identify over a thousand naturally occurring variations in all our DNA, which predispose people to be more or less likely to collect facts generally around the body, or perhaps more around their tummy areas. And the links between these body size encoding genes to future risk of kidney disease has helped to show a number of key facts about the, uh, the true harm that excess fat can cause our kidneys. And the most important fact is that for each five kilograms per meter squared increase in body mass index, which is equivalent from going from ideal weight to being overweight or from overweight to obese, well, that increases risk of chronic kidney disease by about 50%, a half. Put more simply, we're more than doubling our risk of kidney disease if we become obese, rather than maintaining our weight, our BMI, in the recommended range between 20 and 25. And in the case of kidney disease, this is true even if you tend to accumulate fat around your hips. So for once, fat around the hips and legs is just as bad news as fat accumulating around the major organs in your tummy. The genetic experiments have revealed other important findings. For example, many of the cases of obesity associated kidney disease are driven by the risks of developing diabetes or high blood pressure. And this on the other hand is relatively good news because we already know a lot about diabetes and high blood pressure, and we have different tablet-based treatments for both. If we can prevent diabetes and control blood pressure in those who are overweight or obese, we may be able to prevent some cases of kidney disease from developing in the first place. But ultimately, these findings from UK Biobank data should give us new incentive to manage our weight. In the UK, over a half of adults are overweight or worse, and a quarter are obese. Kidney Research UK estimate as many as 3 million people in the UK have kidney disease. And from our data, we can extrapolate and work out that perhaps around one third, so about 1 million cases of kidney disease in the UK can be attributed directly or indirectly to excess weight. Now, we will continue to work hard on interventions to reduce the risk of kidney disease. At the moment, we're running a large clinical trial testing a promising class of drugs called gliflozins. Now, gliflozins can help reduce weight and control blood pressure, but more importantly, they appear to slow kidney disease progression. And results are now expected by 2022.